An article published by the Observer states that the Noah's Ark has been found. And what's interesting here is that the Quran and the Bible give two distinct accounts of the location of the Ark. And as we noticed, the Quran was correct and the Bible was wrong. Uh, the, the article here states, Noah's Ark has been found on the Turkish-Iranian border, 32 kilometers from Mount Ararat, according to the leader of a team of scientists that has been investigating the site for six years. The Turkish government is so convinced by the findings that after years of intransigence, it has designated the site one of special archaeological interest and agreed to its excavation next summer. The remote site contains a buried ship-like object resting an altitude of 2,300 meters, at 170 meters long and 45 meters wide, it conforms almost exactly to the 300 cubit by 50 cubit boat that God told Noah to build according to Genesis 6 in the Bible. On surrounding terrain, the American and Middle Eastern scientists have identified huge stones with holes, with holes carved at one end, which they believe are drogue stones dragged behind ships in the ancient world to stabilize them. Radar soundings indicate unusual levels of iron oxide distribution. Saleh Bayrak Tutan, head of geology at Turkey's Atat Ataturk University, estimates the edge of the vessel at more than 100,000 years. Estimates the age of the vessel at more than 100,000 years. And he quotes as saying, it is a man-made structure and for sure it is Noah's Ark, end quote. The site is directly below the mountain of Al-Judi, named in the Qur'an as the Ark's resting place. And I'll mention this verse after. David Fazold, an American shipwreck specialist with no religious affiliation, has led the investigation. He says subsurface radar surveys of the site has produced, quote, very good pictures, end quote. And he continues saying the radar imagery at about 25 meters down from the stern is so clear that you can count the floorboards between the walls, end quote. He believes the team has found the fossilized remains of the upper deck and that the original reed substructure has disappeared, but the findings have infuriated the scores of Christian Ark hunters who travel to Turkey convinced the Ark will only be found on Mount Ararat. Fazold, who also calls himself an archaeologist, also argues that it was not a great flood that pushed the ark into the mountains. He says it was an astrono astronomical event causing a tectonic upheaval, a tidal bore causing gravitational pull in the ocean waters that forced the boat into the mountains." End quote. Some of Fazold's teams of geophysicists and geologists are reserving final judgment until the excavation and carbon dating. But in a British TV series on the environment next month, team member Vendel Jones, a Middle East archaeologist and inspiration for film character Indiana Jones, says it is, quote, between maybe and probably, end quote, that they have found Noah's Ark. Uh, the Quranic verse, so that's the end of the article, the Quranic verse detailing about the resting place of the Noah's Ark is found in chapter Hud, uh, verse 44. The verse says, And it was said, O earth, swallow up your water, and O sky, withhold your rain. And the water was diminished, meaning made to subside, and the decree of Allah was fulfilled. The destruction of the people of Nuh, or Noah, السلام, and it, the ship rested on Mount Judi, and it was said, Away with the people who are the Dhalimun, the Pathias, and the wrongdoers. So, just the point of evidence, that it rested... The Quran says specifically that it rested on Mount Judi. The 49th verse of the same chapter says, This is the news of the unseen which we reveal unto you, O Muhammad wasallam. May the peace and blessings be upon him. Neither you nor your people knew them before this, so be patient. Surely the good end is for the muttaki, muttakun, meaning the pious. Judi, whereas the Bible says... In Genesis 8.4, then the ark rested on the mountains of Ararat. And this is in the New King James Version. Genesis 8, uh, verse 4. And the pictures you are now seeing are just pictures from the website, uh, fatwa-online.com.
The link to this article and the pictures will be posted under the more information section to the right of this video. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik, ashiru an la ilaha illa anta wa astaghfiraka wa atubu ilaha.